Everyone heard about the three-fifths of a man rule, right? Okay, many people do not understand that rule the same way you don't understand the Tuskegee experiment. I'm going to attempt to explain it to you. The rule that made black people three-fifths of a man. Who wanted that rule? The South who had slaves or the North who did not? Someone answer that question for me. That's how I can know that you understand. The South who had slaves did not want that rule. That's the mass misconception about that rule. The South who had slaves wanted to count black people as full human beings. The North who did not have slaves, they wanted to count black people as three fifths of a man. Why? Because you get more benefits according to population. If there's a city or a, or a town or a state that has 10 million people and a state that has 2 million people. The state with 10 million people gets more federal money. They get more money from the federal government, which is why they do the census every 10 years. They do that census. And the states that have a lot of people get more funds from the federal government. It has always been that way. The South wanted to count their slaves as full human beings. Why? Because then they would get more money because now a, a one third of their population would be counted in the census. So that would mean that Washington DC would have to give them more money. But the North said this, we're not gonna count them as full human beings. They don't have any rights. They can't vote and their property. Why would we count them as full human beings?